You guys ready for this? I don't see it yet. Over there. That's it, right? Huh. Oh my goodness. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run of the mill breed. We best make quick work of it. So we're going to want to kill this thing fast. Let's try and sneak up on it a little bit. Like why not, right? Uh-oh. Wait a sec. What? Scared big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> Holy cow! Nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Let's do this, boys. Uh, your friends can perform special techniques to aid you in combat. Got it. Kind of figured that. I just hadn't used it yet. Could you do it? Nope. Block. Easy. There you go. Get him, Pronto. All right. So what can I what can I do here? Ow. Ignis, mark it. Ah, oh, get marked. Ah, oh, there was a quick time event, and I screwed it up. Okay. Have Gladio use Tempest and follow his lead. Duly noted. Gladio, get it. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Ah, circle, there you go. Quick time event, got it. Nope, block it. Easy, there you go. Yeah, go to town on it, boys. Ow. Nope, block that. Get parried, you nerd. Alright, Prompto, Piercer, get it. Wait for the quick time event. There was no quick time event. Oh, it's dead, that's why. Not me. Knocked. Does tired count? Ring, ring. Man, look at this thing. Hello? Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Ken. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So my car is called the Regalia? Because it said retrieve the... Oh, it's gone! It, it just vanished. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the leg room in back. <laughs> I am liking these characters so far. They're pretty good. So we were talking earlier that these outfits we're wearing are like part of the Crown's Guard or something? I guess it means we have some kind of level of prestige just by wearing it that people recognize. Kind of, you know, like, police officer's outfit. You know, anyone can recognize a police officer by what he's wearing, usually. Unless he's out of uniform. <sighs> so far to run. Need car back immediately. That we apparently named the Regalia. What a beautiful name. Look where you're going! Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I just wanted to switch back to my sword, guys. I didn't mean to freak you out. R3 opens the map. Okay. So this is the entire continent, then. Pretty cool. I look forward to exploring it all. Oh, is that a time dial of some sort? It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? Uh... Yeah. I don't know what that is. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. That's 1.5. That's three halves. It would explain its size. <laughs> awesome in every sense. That thing is massive. Look at it. I want to kill it. I guess that tells us that two exact same green cars just passed each other on the road. How does that happen? Who buys a car in that color? Anyways, what was I saying? does a lot about the kind of person I am. I see something massive and impressive and cool looking and my instant reaction is, man, I want to murder it. Alright. Only got uh, under a thousand feet to go. A thousand feet equals 1.8 miles, apparently. 
But up, up, but up, up. How many feet are normally in a mile? Like 5,000 or something? I don't remember. It's been a while since I've had to do conversions like that. It's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend you're walking to the car. That's what we are doing. We are walking to the car. What are you on about? Why do we need to pretend? Run, you fools. Run. Only 350 more feet to go. We're nearly there. Back at good old Hammerhead. We're here. Apparently, I still need to speak to tipsters. We'll worry about that later. Let's get our car back. Hey there, Cindy, I think your name was. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. I got 320 experience. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? I accept, refuse, ask my friends. I guess I always get like a negative response, a uh, good response, and then a uh, just ask my friends. I, yeah, I don't mind making a delivery if it's on the way. No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa, my grandkid. The Errand Prince. Now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Yes. Uh, yeah. I want to drive. Sure, why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. All right, dude, we're going to go, we're going to GTA 5 this. We're going to go jump off some cliffs. Let's do it. Auto resume manual. Uh, I want to, I want to drive. Time to go. Mm -hmm. What just happened? I accidentally got out of the car. X gets out of the car. Duly noted. Ready? Let's hit it. Woo! All right. R2 to accelerate. L2 is brake. Play. Oh, dude! We get to mess around with the radio. I hear no music, though. All right, well. Does the car have some a little bit of auto control? Hammer I think it does. Like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Oh, I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. <sighs> There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! Huh. Uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. So the car does have, like, a lot of auto control, actually. It keeps you on the road. It doesn't let you veer off, which is unfortunate because I just wanted to go crazy, but whatever. That probably means I'm going to do a lot. We actually do have a gas meter at the bottom left. Uh, that probably means I'm not going to do very much driving in this game. I'll probably do a majority of just setting it to auto. Because I don't see why I wouldn't. Visit Hammerhead to have Cindy install new parts to upgrade the Regalia's performance. Well, that's probably something we should do later on in the game. This is really the fastest I can go. I can't, like put the pedal to the metal or anything. All right, I need different music. Now oh, whatever. Prologue. They actually have the original soundtrack in it. Awesome. Under Siege. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be setting this to auto in the future. But anyways, yeah, it's like a it's keeping track of the time up there at the top left, I think. It's like midday 11? That wouldn't be midday. That'd still be morning. I don't know. Let's park. 
Oh, I have to press X. I almost didn't press X in time. I was just holding left, thinking it would well, happen. I'd say that's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here. Yeah, I agree. Select a destination from the list of locations. Ignis will drive there from the shortest route. Uh, Ignis will not drive while Damon's are out. At night, Noctis takes the wheel. Fair enough. All right, then. What have we got here? You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk, so you all just sit tight. All right. That was easy enough. Dog! Umbra, bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. Oh how my do goodness! You always know, boy. Just a sec. Is that the girl we're marrying? Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. That's a lot of work. Finally going to see you after all these years. Uh, just left the Crown City. Got it. <laughs> I'm not saying got it. That's for sure. Uh, crud, I can't remember what she said. Finally going to see you after all these years. Uh, just left Crown City. Just keep it informative. Simple. The other option seems like a little too much to me. Right, get on it, doggy. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. <laughs> now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. Uh. Alright then, I gotta go see Golden apparently, because I am the Aaron Prince now. I've moved on from Popper to Aaron. Really moving up in the world. Wait a minute. It's Can I take time. the car? Gladio, come on. Gotcha. Can I take the car so I don't have to run all the way there? Yeah, I can. Let's do it. Auto, please. Uh, where do I need to go? Quest location, yes. All right, that's really convenient. Did you say my ETA is two minutes? Clear skies with the temperature rising. Nice. Let's go, boys. Can I still mess around with the, uh... Ah, yes, I can still change the music. Perfect. Missing princess. That sounds foreboding. For our next story, Lady Luna Freya of Tenebrae has issued an official statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal, playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. What's that? I do? Buzz off. <laughs> Alright, so we like, we know this chick that we're getting married to, and actually we're like at least friends. So Noct at least likes her. I didn't know what kind of arranged marriage was going on here, but apparently it's a good one. Which uh, is not how it usually goes, but thankfully for us, it is. Hey, how's it going, guys? Having a having a good day? Hey, I see the sea. I see it too. 
That's Golden Key. Kinda oh wanna my go goodness. For a dip. That a big mountain behind it? No, it's an island. Nobody goes to Golden for an island, though. They go to kick back and get massages. And say with the seafood. It's famously delicious. Sounds great. Something to look forward to. Alright, so apparently uh, Ignis here is fond of puns, so I'm gonna have to live with that throughout the entirety of this game. Yo, let's park, yeah. Please say we pull over for a minute. Yeah, my throat's bone dry. Sounds like grounds for a pit stop. Sounds like a waste of time and money. Well, we've all got our own opinions. The important thing is that mine is the correct one, though. Might want to stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. You're being helpful for a change. What do you mean for a change? Just tell it like it is, man. Refuel? I guess we should while we're here. Yeah, 10 gil, that's not much at all. <sighs> Easy. I am really liking this game so far. I like the modern setting. You don't usually get that in JRPGs. Alright, the tank is now full. Sick. Alright, so now the Aaron Prince, we gotta go hop on the ferry. But I think we're gonna wrap up here for today, guys. Yeah, I'm a little bit over an hour, so, uh, save the game? Oh, has it already got, like, quick saves set up for me? Looks like it's been quick saving, maybe. Alright, well, yeah, they're auto saves. It says auto save. Let me just manually save right here on number three, I guess. Very good. Alright, well, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the start to this playthrough. I'm definitely liking the game so far. It's looking like it's gonna be a good one. Uh, I'll see you all next time where we're gonna go and complete the Aaron Prince and get a move on with the rest of the game. So, until that time, farewell.